What's going on, guys? I'm back after like a two or three day hiatus. Um, I'm going to be talking about how I got this car and how I've been with the car for so long and what do I think. So, this is a 2016 Dodge Durango SXT. Um, it's not the nicest trim. I mean, I got leather, cloth, got some leather here, leather stitching. Got the big touch screen. Um, I got the upgraded screen in the front right here. I forgot what that was called. I got the 8 speed transmission. ZF 8 speed. That's how people call it. Um, also, I got a third row. I got this. I got the third row. I got that little duster back there. Don't mind that. Um, and some other trash I need to get out. But other than that, it's not the nicest. But hey, I love my car. It's got these alloy wheels. Sorry, I had to cut out. I was talking to my dad. But... Um, yeah, I got these alloy wheels. Oh, don't. Uh, I ain't gonna mention this because it came off. But yeah, I got my Instagram on the side. Go follow. Um, yeah, and got the dual exhaust tips. This is pretty much gonna be an overall review of this car. So, this car. Uh, oh, this car has been a very good car. Um, I got it when it was at 73,000 miles. We're at 87,189 now. Um, also, this car, I push it on it a lot. I don't drive it like your normal grandma or grandpa. I do stomp on this car a lot. I do push it. Sometimes I'm surprised the transmission hasn't blown or the gas pedal hasn't fell off, fallen off. We also got some leather stitching here. We got basically the SXT trim is like basically cloth and leather. So it gives you a mix of both um, trims. Like the RT, it has all has all leather seats. Like, everything's leather, like, including the cloth here. I sound so smart for my age. I don't know why. But, yeah. You got this rear um, air conditioning. You can put it up. You can put it down. You got these little hangers. You can put um, folders, files, or anything you want to in there. I don't use them because I really don't have any files to store in my car I usually keep that in my glove box and and I'm sorry if the videos are vertical I'm trying to get my iPhone 11 Pro Max fixed so I can get it like a little stand and I can turn it sideways this one when it's turned sideways it just does not act right I like to freeze up and act up on on me. Um, what else? It's got rear drink holders too. If you didn't see that, yeah, it's got two, one on each side. You got a bit enough room in here. Well, not for me, because like I got detailing materials here. I got my NoCo Boost Plus GB40. Um, Probably one of the best things I've ever used. Probably one of the best boosters I've ever used. Yeah, when my car was dead. Because I accidentally left the hatch open. Which was a stupid ass idea. But other than that. Yeah, it's been a good car. Um, let's see here. The only thing I don't like is the carpeted fender wells. The wells. When I get the pressure washer. Um, I have to I have to use a pressure washer just to get all this dirt out of here. 
and I can't really use anything else. I've tried carpet cleaner, but carpet cleaner really doesn't do the trick because it just falls right off the, the fender wells because uh, they're pointed upwards. Scott, the only thing I don't know how to do in this car is do the cold mirrors. I really don't know how to do that. Um, I might put some new Dodge floor seat, uh, uh, um, what's it, floor mats in here. I've already put, like, these pieces, like, these accessories in here. I need to get the ones for the back. I have, like, one more to put in there. And highway speeds, this is fast. Like, for a V6 Durango, um, it's quick. It's very quick. It's a good car, but when you really put the hammer down, this might not look fat. Oh, some people might think it's fast, but you won't expect a V6 to keep up with most of the 300 horsepower cars that we got now like the um the honda civic type r um what else the well i can keep up with the charger but i'm pretty sure the charger the dodge charger would probably basically would outrun because it's lighter and the durango's a lot heavier so yeah the, the charger would probably outbeat the durango v6 so with the challenger the challenger's a lot lighter too And also, I got to get something else fixed here. I got to get this turn signal replaced. There's going to be a video on that when I replace it. Um, I don't know what the white paint color is called on these Dodge cars. Or on these Dodges. I forgot. Ain't this pearlescent white? I think this is pearlescent white, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I love this car. I plan to keep it for a long time. I don't want to get rid of it because it's been getting, it's gotten through me, it's gotten me through some depressing times and through some things I didn't want to have to put up with, but hey, I'm all for it. I love this car. I don't want to ever get rid of it. Hey, it might be a V6, but I can always make this V6 more powerful. I could easily throw a, a supercharger on one of these. Let's see, I'm gonna try to get the hood open if I can find the latch. Oh yeah, there's that beautiful 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 that you find in most Jeeps, Dodges, and Chryslers. Chrysler has two vehicles right now besides the it's got the Pacifica and the, the 300 and there's that other one the Voyager there you go the Voyager it's got the Voyager everything in here looks good like I clean the interior the outside almost all the time because I live in like a muddy area and like a very big environment with trees so yeah it's gonna be a the frame's kind of dirty a little bit i gotta get a pressure washer and get that um other than that the car's been good uh i do need to check the oil and the windshield wiper fluid I remember putting windshield wiper fluid in uh, like three months ago. It should still be good. Yeah, it's been a good car. I'm sorry I keep saying it. It's, been, it's, it's just a really reliable car. If, like if you want a family SUV and you want the practicality of like a Tahoe or a Telluride or even maybe a Hyundai Palisade. This is that this is its competition. The Durango. 
you have the Chevy Tahoe with well, you come it comes with three engines. The the four two V six I believe, which it, the Tahoe or Suburban doesn't really get. You get the five three, then you get the six two, which is the biggest engine offered in the Tah in the Tahoes and Suburbans. The Telluride it comes with uh, I believe just a V six, but. The pa Palisade and the Telluride are the same thing. Just swap the badges. Um, and, well, Dodge is pretty much killing the competition right now. Dodge just came out with the Durango Hellcat, and it's destroying most of the midsize and big SUV competition right now. Um... And if you guys want an exhaust clip, I'm going to give it to you. Um, it's not going to be loud. It's not going to be too quiet. The video cut out. I don't know why. But the exhaust, it's a little grumbly when it's cold. But when it warms up, it sounds perfect. Got both the exhaust. Sound real good. For me, probably for y'all guys that have a Dodge with a V8, y'all probably have more enjoyment and excitement with y'all's. Because y'all can rev it up and it sounds good stock. But, I'm going to get out of here. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want more. Peace out.